Hey everybody, welcome back. There is a new NVIDIA DLSS frame generation file out, DLSS G version 3.7.1. There's no notes that I can find about it. This is about a month and a half newer than the previous one. But generally speaking, you can expect better performance and better visuals as they bring these out. And I think it's worth those of you who have an NVIDIA 40 series card with native frame gen to update this file. You cannot do this with DLSS Swapper. That only updates the DLSS file. So in order to update the DLSS G file, you got to come here to Tech Power Up. I'll put the link in the description. You just click here to download it. And... I created this folder, DLSS G 3.7.1, and you save the file. And then we open this up, we'll extract it, and now you have to put this DLSS G file in your Microsoft Flight Simulator install. And generally where that is, at least on for Windows Store users, you go to C, Xbox games. Please ignore the fact that I have two Microsoft Flight Simulator folders. I still don't know why, but this is the one that <laughs> this is the one that works. This is the one that I use. Um, so C, Xbox games, and you, you would presumably only have one Microsoft Flight Simulator folder. You go in there, go into the content folder, take this file that you've just downloaded, and just drag and drop it in. It's going to ask you if you want to replace it. Click yes and you're done. Again, I don't see any notes, release notes about this. There was a new driver the other day. These tend to come out in tandem with NVIDIA driver updates and particularly when they're updating things for new games. I would encourage anybody with a, again, with an RTX 40 card to update this file it certainly can't do you any harm and there's certainly also the potential that it'll be better for you so i would love to hear from you guys who do have one of these cards how it looks for you how it performs i don't i have an rtx 3080 ti so i can't update this and test it but i at least wanted to let you guys know that I have the rtx 40 series cards that it's out and presumably this also means that there's going to be a DLSS, regular DLSS version update here pretty soon. So we'll keep an eye out for that. Thank you for the viewers who flagged this to me. I appreciate it, guys. And uh, please leave any experiences that you have with this update in the comments. The other thing you can do, by the way, if you, unfortunately, like I said, you can't use DLSS Swapper to, to update this. And conversely, you can't use DLSS Swapper to revert back if you don't like what this does to you for, for whatever reason. So maybe it's a good idea before you update this file, just take the one that you have and, you know, you can rename it old underscore whatever, and then drag the new one in. And if you for some reason don't like it, just delete the new one that you dragged in there. And then you would just come back here, delete that, and you're back to the version you had before. Or I'm sure you can download the previous version from the Tech Power Up website as well. So uh, any experiences you guys have with these, I'd really appreciate hearing it. And I hope you guys are all doing well, and we'll talk soon.